Hello, New World Gamers, it's me, Lamani. Happy Wednesday, and welcome back. I hope all of you are well. Today, I'm gonna to be giving you a huge gold-making opportunity, as well as a trade skill opportunity, and a way to advance in a bunch of major systems in New World. This video today is going to be designed for people who are stuck on dead servers currently, you know, maybe your server population's a bit low, or two, you have server transfer tokens available. Specifically, if you have two, this is gonna be relevant to everybody at all times, if you have two server transfer tokens, sorry, I can't talk, but if you wait until the end of the video, I'm gonna be talking about a way you could take advantage with just one, as long as you're watching this within two days of this video being released. So what are we gonna be doing? How are we making gold? How are we doing stuff with trade skills? Well, let's just start off like this. If you're a person who's never server transferred, um, unlike me, done it twice, the way that you transfer is you go to the store, you navigate to character transfer, and here it'll tell you whether or not you have one token, two tokens, whatever you need. So why is this important? Well, you, sir or ma'am, who have two character transfer tokens could be essentially swapping places and coming back to your home server. Now, what do I mean? So this, like I was saying, this video is designed for those who are on dead servers, or maybe you have two transfer tokens. If you're an individual who's kind of looking for some things to do, you want to start making some gold, you want to level up your trade skills, you're looking for a certain item, you can go take a little vacation to one of these uh, less populated servers, per se, and start to do some of those things. And I'm going to cover what I think is the most advantageous things to pursue, but at the same time, in this video, you who are currently on that maybe vacation server, who are looking to get off, can be doing these same things so that you can have a step up once you get to a newer server, or those of you who are on that newer server, you will now have a step up on everybody else who's in your home. So let's get into it, let's talk about some stuff here, and let's get rolling. All right, gamers. So I, for one, have not been a great uh, trade skiller. You, you'll see my trade skills are a little, a little rough weaving down there's 200, but things like mining, logging, I've just recently hit mining 200. My logging isn't 200 yet, or even some of these crafting professions that I'm not really focused on. I've been more active about trying to start leveling up some of these, and I'm currently on Marama. Now, what's my dilemma? Well, especially for something like logging where I'm trying to farm like weird wood, right? Obviously I can go chop any tree, but I'm looking to get weird wood so I can like level up my woodworking, kind of do it myself. Even mining, if you're somebody who is maybe fresher to the game, you took a break, or maybe you're just not focused on trade skills. It is really difficult when you're on a server that actually has a large population. Like for instance, I've been trying to farm some weird wood, you know, I'll start on a route over here, go like up here, or sorry, over here. And then I'll kind of go up and in here and go into Morningdale and try to make it all the way through. But the unfortunate reality is, so are other people. And every time I'm running over there, there's chopped down the trees. Or, you know, I'll be farming, trying to farm some auric helcum, like when I was leveling smelting or leveling my mining, I'd go like through the uh, scorched mines or maybe go into Merc Guard. But again, or even down here, again, there are people everywhere. So what is the first thing I am trying to tell you? Well, if you're on a populated server right now, you could transfer to your nice vacation home and go and level up some of these trade skills rent free with nobody else in your head. Take advantage of that, get the materials and start working on your own gathering and other trade skills. And if you're currently on a dead server, this is something Dan always says is I wish, I wish, I wish, I wish when I was on a dead server that I was actually leveling these things. Cause Dan's a relatively new player. Didn't really focus on trade skills in that sense. Not new to the end game. He's been playing for a little bit, but that's just something a lot of people overlook and they're more so excited to be like, hey, I want other players to be around. Before you go, start working on, you know, your mining, start working on your logging. And even if you're on those servers and you're able to farm those materials, you can pretty much start leveling things like armoring or weaponsmithing or engineering, even jewel crafting for free, right? I'm sitting here having to try and buy these materials to actually actively level them up. You could be the one farming them. Now, if you're a person who isn't well-versed in trade skills and you haven't checked out this, this is New World Map, what you can do is filter through different things that you'd like to farm. So let's just say you're on that new server and you're like, hey, I really, really, really want to farm up some weird wood. What's my best route? Well, we can use this and actively see where's the most weird wood, where should I be going, where could I get a lot? So then you can kind of sit here and look around and think, okay, maybe, you know, just maybe I could farm up a route and I could start here and then I could travel up to here, go through, go around, go all the way through grabbing all of this. And then you can pop up other things, you know, along the way, 
like different foods or different, you know, cooking ingredients or ores. Like, you know, maybe I pop up corn. I'm like, okay, on my way through here, there's also some corn up here and I'm gonna grab all this corn on my way through. But regardless, you can use New World Map, create your own routes, look up some other routes, there's plenty out there, but this is a really beneficial resource if you're on one of those servers looking to start leveling up your trade skills. All right, party people, so what should you be farming and what should you be looking for if you wanna make some gold? We're gonna do a little trading post thing here. So for starters, the biggest thing, the most obvious thing to me to farm is orichalcum. Orichalcum can be turned into so many things, asmodium or ingots, uh, everything, bullets, orichalcum makes the world go round and that is one of the most highly contested things to farm. This will be a huge gold making opportunity. With that, pretty much any metals in general are gonna be expensive, but then as well as gems, right? When you're mining some of these higher things and you have some mining like uh, luck on, going for some pristine gems is going to net you some solid gold. Like even, you know, a pristine amber is still almost a hundred gold over here, right? Just going for some of these random gems that people use to cut things or use to, you know, make gem dust or literally anything. Those are huge potential. Another really good thing is like cooking foods, right? So we're, we're going to talk about bear flanks, like finding a region where you can sit and farm rich bear flanks or ooh, I'm going to, I'm actually going to buy these. These are cheap right now. So <laughs> farming up some of these or sumptuous rabbit or another really, really good one. Harvesting can yield some fantastic things like tarragon. If you sit in reek water, get a tarragon farm going, you know, onions, if I can type, onions are expensive. We go through salt is expensive. If you go for salt, uh, what else? Um, we could do garlic. And a lot of these things are very, very valuable and used in a lot of different foods. So what I would suggest is try to figure out, okay, what are the most common things being used? I'd say typically ores and gems are really solid right? Next, you could always go for things like ironwood. And the advantage with ironwood is, right, it only sells for 50 cents a piece. But if we look at some of the craft mods for ironwood, like that's 70 gold a piece. And if we go to the other one, this one is going to be 6,000 gold a piece, right? So if you can start to farm, take advantage of an ironwood route too, you have this kind of potential. I think another big thing that you're going to be looking for is definitely crafting mods. So, you know, literally just search, search the general market, see what's expensive and get a feel. Just think of like perks. I think another thing that you could do is also taking advantage of gear. If you see some cheaper gear that you know has some really solid perks, taking it onto a different server. You're going to have to figure a lot of this out just on your own. I think most players understand which things are most expensive. But again, just for a beginner, ores, gems, wood, pretty much anything trade skill related, a lot of cooking materials are going to be netting you crazy amounts of gold, as well as like daily cooldown stuff, right? Whatever you need for daily cooldowns will be nice, like Tolvium, Cinnabar, anything like that. So basically just doing your trade skills. Now, if you are somebody on a dead server or you've transferred over and you have a sense of what market prices are like, you can also take advantage of this. You can do a little bit of market manipulation, right? So we could, theoretically go over to a, a lower pop server and just see what's lower price. You know, like what is orichalcum price at? What is like a sliver of consecrated iron? This is one of my favorite items in the game because it's a little difficult to get. And like, okay, is there one up for like 3K? And then you take it over to your other server. Ultimately, we can just try to, try to look for some of these items and do a little flip for when you go to your true home, when you've used your token and you're either back to where you were or going to a whole new adventure. So if you have some way of getting insight on some of these, maybe you have a friend on the server, maybe you've been on the server and have some, some insight, just get a feel for these prices. This is only going to be possible if you have that little bit of insight. I don't want you just randomly shotgunning things, being like, Lamani, I bought this and now you lost me money. Just think about it. Think about the high ticket items that you could potentially flip for some extra gold. All right. So you think this is a great opportunity, but you're one of those people who unfortunately does not have two transfer tokens. But you do have one in the back pocket. Well, if you weren't aware, there are server merges, a bunch of them happening for Central EU, US East, US West, and Australia. So if you're on one of these servers, you're in luck and you only have one token. How can we be taking advantage of this system to still do all the things I just previously mentioned, but be on a little bit of a time crunch? So when we're looking, these merges are going to happen on April 15th, um, and it's going to be West Coast time, it looks like. It doesn't give a specific time, but just says Los Angeles. So um, if you're on one of these servers, 
you will be merged into the, the larger one of your group. So right, like for Central EU, these ones are going to be into Abaton. Is that how you say that? Or the greatest example is my former home, Eden, will now be merged into my new home, Marama, which I saw this coming weeks ago. I just want to call that a uh, little, little later than I thought it would be. But regardless, if you have one token, let's say you're a Marama player currently. So like me, what could I do? I could transfer over to Eden today, which would be the 13th. And on the 15th, I will come right back home. So I could go to Eden, go farm up some stuff, you know, go check out the market, see what's over there. Cause that market's going to be deleted anyway and just buy off whatever's on there. And then, you know, the, a lot of stuff doesn't get wasted and you can profit from it. And then boom, you're right back home. And now you've leveled up your trade skills. You have a bunch of extra materials and you have huge gold making opportunities. Like people on Olympus will be merged into Orin. City of Brass is going into Castle Steel. All these are going to Orfina. Uh, if you're on West, uh, these are going into Drasil, okay? So just take a look at this. I'll link it in the description of where it's going to be transferred. But again, if you are on one of these servers, sorry, these servers, you can be transferring to any of these and maybe look for what's like the lowest pop or maybe it won't matter. You can check those out and then you'll come right back home in two days, right? You can take advantage of the one token system and make a ton of money. Now, that's all I have for all of you today. As always, thank you all for everything that you do every single day for me. I appreciate all their support. And if you want to support me directly, I have a Patreon. I have all kinds of socials linked below. And if you have any questions about this kind of thing or any questions about the game in general, please feel free to drop by my Twitch chat or send me a DM on Discord. I'm very responsive. I'm ready to answer your questions and I'm still having a blast with New World and I hope all of you are too. But if you need anything in the meantime, just let me know and leave a comment down below if you want to. But as always, thank you all for watching. Thank you all for listening, and thank you to every single one of you beautiful people for being you. I appreciate it. Have a great rest of your day. Be safe, happy, and healthy. Bye-bye.